Hello there, the angel of my nightmare. My name is Dane, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I'm currently reading. I felt like I got shot. I'm currently reading It Came From Ohio, My Life as a Writer by R.L. Stein. I'm about two thirds of the way through it, non fiction about, um, you know, the career of the, the Goosebumps creator. He's actually just started making Goosebumps at the point I'm in. What's interesting is. Um, I guess because he has a few different audiences, he has like younger audiences and older audiences. This is, uh, is written in kind of language that I think anybody could enjoy, so uh, I probably would recommend it so far. Uh, and I will give you an update on that shortly. Hello good people of the internet, it is currently Thursday the, I want to say the 18th, I think it's the 18th. I'm still reading The Currents of Space by Isaac Asimov, I'm about three quarters of the way through it. Uh, so once I finish that off, I'm then going to read uh, The Case of Charles Dexter Ward by H.P. Lovecraft. I've got a lot of these like smaller, old, um, I think, well, what's on? Panther? The other one's Granada. I don't know who published this one. This one is Panther, there we go. Um, so I have a lot of these old sci-fi books to work through. Hey, Biggie. You want to be on the camera? Let me pick you up. So we're reading some old sci-fi, aren't we, Biggie? Ow. That was mean. No, bad cat. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to have to fish with the cat here because otherwise he's going to attack me. So just bear, bear in mind, that's what I'm doing. He's caught a big one. We're going to need a bigger boat. So I'm currently finished off um, The Currents of Space by Asimov. Susie came over yesterday and we shot a Christmas themed video of who's most likely to, so like who's most likely to do all their shopping online, etc. Uh, and I made a really banging dinner as well, literally, because it was bangers. It was um, Beyond Burger Sausages. It was deconstructed Beyond uh, Chili Dog. So I made some chili, Beyond Sausages, uh, some mash instead of fries, and it was just, it was very delicious. So she headed off to work this morning. I've been up since about half six. I got up with her. Um, it's currently five to 12. I'm going backwards and forwards between the art center quite a lot. Um, Cause I've got some, whoa! Cause I've got some people to meet. Uh, got to meet a couple of artists. In fact, I'm meet, meeting the guy who designed this t-shirt to give him his copies of it. And uh, one of the other artists as well who did one of the other t-shirts, I'm meeting him too. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at. And I'm just doing a bit of filming to make sure I'm all up to date. I'm ready to do my next radio show as well, so I might do that. It's been quite cool doing those as video first. I'm getting very distracted here. It's just it's so cute and deadly. Hi Susie. Hello. You're on YouTube. I'm in fucking fuck. There we go. Thank you. Now I can no longer monetize this video. <laughs> We're making Christmas dinner. Yes, and I'm in my Christmas present t shirt mm -hmm. while I do this. Veg looks good over there. Got some stuff in the oven. Yeah. Lovely. We'll yeah. update you later on. All right, it is Saturday, the 19th of December. Almost forgot then. Susie's through there in the bedroom. She's reading a book. Let me go find out what book she's reading. She's reading Soulless by Gail Carragher, a somebody something mystery, I believe. It's like steampunky from what I've heard. She's literally on page like five. So I guess we'll, maybe we'll get her in tomorrow's vlog and she can give us an update on that. I have been reading, oh, it's through there. I'm not gonna go get it, but uh, Master of Reality, uh, Black Sabbath's Master of Reality by John Darnell. So John Darnell is the lead singer of The Mountain Goats, who's a band I'm really into. They actually, they're active on YouTube, so you can check that out if you're interested. And obviously, Black Sabbath are Black Sabbath. It's like a series of books. Uh, it's, they look self-published, or this one does, but it's from Bloomsbury, and they've done like a whole series of like 160 out of these uh, books that like tie into famous albums and stuff. So John Darnell's one is about uh, Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, and the story itself is told of history, so in the form of diary entries by this kid. Uh, it's October 1985. He's in like a reformatory. Uh, I think because he tried to kill himself, and um, yeah, it's like his journals that they're forcing him to keep while he's there. And he's uh, like huge Ozzy Osbourne Black Sabbath fan. And they've taken his tapes and his Walkman away. So he's just kind of writing into his journal about what kind of makes it, uh, what makes the album so special to him. But also we see his daily life. So like there was a scene in it just happened that uh, reminded me of uh, The Queen's Gambit. Because again, he's in this reformatory 
and he basically breaks into where they keep all the pills and stuff. But not because he wants the pills, it's because that's where they've got his Walkman, he wants to listen to his album. So uh, yeah, good book. Uh, let me see. We watched Muppet Treasure Island today. No, not Muppet Treasure Island, Muppet Christmas Carol, <laughs> the other good Muppets film. And we've had a few other movies on, a bit of music, we made our Christmas dinner earlier. And uh, yes, the, I guess the main societal news is that we found out today. Right, so in England at the moment we have a tier system for, for Covid. So um, we were in tier two, which meant that like, I guess medium risk and like we could still have pubs open and restaurants and stuff. Uh, then we went to tier three today, which is basically uh, all the shops can stay open, but like no pubs, no restaurants, no live music. And then they announced today we're going into tier four as of tomorrow, which is basically back on a full national lockdown, except you can't travel in or out of tier four areas as well. So, uh, so it means neither me nor Susie can go home for Christmas. So we're having Christmas here. Um, so she will be probably in my videos quite a lot over the next week or so. We're probably going to film quite a bit for Lord Literature and Madden Media. In fact, we have a Christmas video coming out soon. So check that out. It's probably already out by the time you're watching this. I have here some books to haul. But I'll do that in a minute. And these are the books that I've read. So I finished reading Tamara Tu de Passe by Deras and Zidru. This is a French bandes dessinaire, uh, which is like a graphic novel. It's kind of like in between a graphic novel and a comic. Uh, they're pretty common in France. I think it's actually the second largest printer of graphic novels behind Japan, because of obviously like manga. But um, yeah, so this is like, I think it's presumably a weekly strip. Uh, there's also actually, it gets kind of meta, because Tamara, who's this main character here, um, by the end of it, she started running a blog, and it's like, uh, what is it? Tam Oh no, it's, um, is it Gross Girl? Because there's, there's a Gross Girl, which is like Fat Girl, basically. Um, it's like a common theme throughout this. It's like this superhero she, TV show she watches. Oh no, okay, so her blog is leblogdetamara.blogspot.com, which may or may not still be active. You want to see Susie, Biggie? Come on then, push. But yeah, uh, pretty good graphic novel. It kind of investigates like societal beauty standards because she's kind of this outcast, you know? So like in the first one, um, she goes to a surgery to get like a spot, a pimple added to her face um, in the same way that people get like facelifts and, you know, uh, liposuction and all this stuff because it's the current trend. And then she goes outside and lo and behold, the current trend has changed. There are a few like that. There's another one where she goes clothes shopping and then like by the time she comes back out, the fashion's completely changed and stuff. But overall, fun little read, good for learning French. I gave it a four out of five and uh, tomorrow's adventures continue. And in fact, yeah, there's loads of these. Wow, which one is this then? So this is collection number six of 14. That's interesting. I might, I might slowly, I might add the rest of these to my wish list then and get to them slowly. Then I read uh, The Case of Charles Dexter Ward, Sinister Seething Horror, Strictly for the Iron Nerved Addict by H.P. Lovecraft. I think it was his first full-length novel, um, arguably maybe more of a novella. It's very uh, Edgar Allan Poe in style as well. Uh, we're talking like long paragraphs of description and stuff. This kind of unsettling, sinister feeling that slowly grows on you. The storyline itself was kind of a slow burner, but it was a slow burner in the way that Frankenstein's a slow burner. And we, it, you know, if you go in expecting it to be an action-packed thriller, you're not going to get that. But there's plenty of like Lovecraftian the vibes so uh, it was okay i gave it a 3.5 out of 5 i'm still not sure on my opinion towards lovecraft yet whether i'm a fan or not i mean he was also a, a, a horrendous racist so that doesn't really help his case but uh you know he's he's like inarguably uh influential so slowly working my way through his stuff and glad to tick this one off just playing with susie's present Okay, I have read some stuff. It is, what day is it? Sunday the 20th of December. I'm still reading uh, Black Sabbath Master of Reality by John Darnell, Guy from the Mountain Goat. It's very good so far. I reached the second half of it. So basically, this is part of like a whole series of books that have been like made with music themes. And um, the first half of this was like a journal he was forced to keep while he was in care. Um, and like his carers were reading it and stuff and then he got basically sent to like a state institution 
Uh, and then the second half is 10 years later when he's trying to find his old therapist and he's writing like these letters to him to tell him how he turned out. But uh, it's really cool because it's very much about Black Sabbath's album and even the two parts reflect like the two sides of a vinyl. So I'm enjoying it so far. I'm close enough to the end now that I think I can rate it. I reckon that's a pretty solid 4.5 out of 5 for me. He even changed the writing style from the first half when he was like this just little 16 year old kid to the second half, like you can, you sense the maturity of the character, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, last night while I was in bed, I read Petit Manuel pour Ali sur le Pot by Paul Bateau and Anu Pucar. Ah, ah, donc, c'est un livre en français, un bande de dessinée. Basically, read this and it'll teach you how to go for shit. <laughs> Uh, tout le monde fait pipi et caca. Uh, all the world goes pipi pee 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 and poo poo. Uh, les baby aussi font pipi et caca. The babies also go for poo poo and wee wee. Alors pour ne pas en mettre partout, il porte des couches. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I always get that. Eels pour. Because you don't pronounce those last three syllables because French is mad. Uh, anyway. Four out of five, this gave me a lot of chuckles last night. Susie was asleep while I was reading it and I had to be very quiet so I didn't wake her up. And then I started my next French read for bedtime, which is Le Concombre Contre Le Grand Patate Sur. Uh, I don't know exactly what this translates as. That's the cucumber. It's about various salad things. Um, so we also have um, a, what's it, a radish, which apparently is radis in French. Um, I don't know salad terms in French very well, so I don't know what half the characters' names are. Also, this is like more advanced than the other ones because, and I guess we do this in English too, it doesn't necessarily spell out the words in French, like, uh, I think there's one down here, where someone says like, uh, qu'est-ce que c'est, which is like, you know, what's this? And yeah, it's spelled K-E-S-K-E-U-C-E, -E -E, which isn't how it's pronounced. Um, but it's how it's kind of said, so it's like, I guess ref referring to like, you know, we don't speak proper English as English people, do we? So, uh, it's kind of more phonetic spelling, which makes it very difficult for me to understand what the hell is going on. But uh, I'm enjoying it so far, and the cucumber's doing all right, and it's nice. And so next up, I'm gonna read Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Dario Fo. Uh, this is the book that I stole from the art center. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, today, we've been eating some leftovers, well, I haven't done much, so I'm gonna um, call in some assistance here from the sofa. I've just been um, sitting at home being productive. This Hello, is everyone. This is Susie, you may recognize her face, uh, from the very successful YouTube channel, Lord Literature and Madam Media, which you should definitely check out. Susie's gonna tell you guys what you got up to today, because I didn't do much, and what you're currently reading and what you think of it. You have been doing more than you say you've been doing. You've just been doing a lot. Mm. When I say I've been doing something, I've been reading Solace, which I think you mentioned in another video at some point earlier today. Yesterday, yesterday's vlog. Yeah. So uh, this is by Gail Carriger, and it's Solace, and it's sort of steampunk Victorian with vampires and werewolves, and that suits my sensibilities. I'm still in the world building bit, because I'm literally there. At. This is the first of, I think, five books worth of series, and a friend was like, you're gonna love this. And seeing as we're locked down for Christmas, so we're stuck together mm. for the next few days, I thought, great, I'll read the book that I was supposed to read in Devon when I was gonna go and see my parents. Mm. So what happens at the beginning of this is someone, a vampire, gets killed by our protagonist in self-defense, and well. it's so wonderfully British. And, there's a lot more fuss made about jam tarts being spilled over than the vampire being staked and it's steampunky and it's full of all of that wonderful pretense that you expect from an, a Jane Austen novel but it's kind of taken a piss at the same time which is really cool but hardly anywhere in it yet so I can tell you more about it later I feel as though the vampire has been hard done by I relate to my vampiric brethren <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Enjoy your video! <laughs> <laughs> All right, a little bit of an update. Classical vinyl is on. I'm going to go pause that now. It's kind of funny the language there, like pause the vinyl, except you can't pause the vinyl, I have to turn it off. You can't just, there's no pause button. 
Uh, Susie's in the bedroom reading her book so that when we next have an update for you guys she can actually tell you a little bit about the book. And uh, I finished reading Master of Reality by John Darnell. It was very good. I'm about to start filming the review right now. Uh, and so I've now moved on to Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Dario Fo, and I'm already enjoying it and we'll probably do a review of that as well. But that seems like a good place to end this week's reading vlog because it's Sunday. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.